contents of another VO podcast may cause drowsiness, itchy forehead, burning armpits, or headache. Some less known side effects include mashed toes, sore egos, irritable bowel, or just an old-fashioned case of red ass. Opinions given are not fact, but opinion, and names have been changed to protect the three idiots who record this podcast. Believe it or not, it's another VO podcast with three guys who are full-time voice actors at different stages of life, career, and location. But they have formed a bond and work together to hold each other accountable and help each other on their VO path. Three guys from different backgrounds working together, helping each other, and sharing with you along the way. Hey, what are we calling it again? It's, it's another, another VO, VO podcast. podcast. Okay, okay, guys. Sorry, I get it. Come on. You're not my dad's. Hey, welcome back to another VO podcast, episode 22. Hard to believe, but we're clipping through them pretty quick. And, and the crazy thing is we always have this discussion. If if we don't, you guys correct me. I know we've had it a few times. We start freaking out about what we're going to talk about. <laughs> and then we come off of last week's episode, which was so good. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. And then we got to follow that up this week. Right. It's going to be How a gonna law, law is going to be a hard act to follow. <laughs> but I think I feel no. like that's the, that's the case anywhere you go. If, yeah, if, laws, you know if law goes in front of you, how are you going to follow that up? <laughs> I know. I know. And man, the, the amount of knowledge and instinct and just, you know, when Charles said it's like sitting down and talking to your favorite aunt. Mm-hmm. And then the references that were made about, you know, gathering at the table and talking and learning about life and how to apply yourself. My gosh, th- those are things you don't expect to come from VO coaching. And those are things she teaches people. That's just right. amazing. Yeah. It's just I, amazing. I, I felt like I felt like I had a session with my voiceover psychologist. That's what it felt like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nice and refreshing for you. Which was great. You know, I needed it. I, it was terrific. And I sat quiet and just listened and learned. And yeah. now I'm with you guys. It's content wise. Maybe we can't follow or try to top what law gave. I mean, she laid down some super, super great stuff, but I feel inspired. I mean, I was Good. excited about Same. doing another episode. Same. Yeah. And I fe- we could have gone for another hour. Oh, uh, easily. She, had a, she had a hard stop and, and we could have went longer and split it into two episodes, but we're, we'll definitely have her back. Yeah. Um, and we, and we yeah. should have her back. Got to have yeah, her Yeah, absolutely. Especially after today. Congratulations, Jake. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, I, I have uh, like Charles, yeah. uh, I have now been assigned to her MCVO roster and I am looking forward to uh, working with them and hopefully getting some good auditions and hopefully booking some stuff with them soon. Um, and I'm just excited. I mean, and, and honestly, cool. a lot of that all came about because I had the courage to go talk to her at one voice. And then I did apply online on her site, you know, um, how you, su- you know, I applied the appropriate way, but you know, I had a zoom meeting with her about a week after I had applied. And I don't know if that always happens. I think that was more so from following up from getting her card and swapping information, mm-hmm. but you know, kind of like she talks about in the episode, like building relationships is so important. And that should just go to show you that like when you're doing your marketing, it's not about what they can do for you and how, or how much money you're going to get working with any, any one client. It's what you can do for your client and then building off of that and building a a working relationship. You know what I mean? For sure. Uh, and, and it, it was just, it was just a great experience meeting her. And obviously, um, me putting in the effort and um, her being who she is and being so great and opening and welcome, uh, open and welcoming uh, led to, led to that. So I, I'm just yeah. excited going forward to see where that goes. And and one thing I really loved about her, and I think I mentioned this after the episode was over when we were all just kind of like reminiscing on how great an episode that was, was law is one of those people. And, and I think we should all strive to be someone like this that just knows who she is. And, yeah. and you can tell yeah. when she's talking and when she's telling right. you her thoughts and her giving her advice. It's like she is unabashedly, unashamedly, 100 percent herself. And that's authentic. Right. And we and we hear so much nowadays in voiceover. They want your authentic self. And it's just so interesting right. to see someone like that and then take it all in and be like, I need to be more like that. Now, does that mean I need to be more like law? Not necessarily. If she's who she is. I need to just be, I need to figure out who I am and be my more authentic self. And that was just mm-hmm. really cool. 
So, it, it would be yep. great to get up every day yep. with that energy and that vibe that she's got, you mm-hmm. know, and that is what has inspired me. I think that, you know, we we're blessed to have the opportunity to do what we do. Mm-hmm. And some days I don't appreciate that enough and I should. And uh, so I really want to agree you know, yeah. when I get up in the morning and I like what Jake, what you said today, if you tell yourself that X number of times before you roll out of bed, you're right. You get up with that mindset. And, and um, I heard someone on a podcast talking about that a while back that they, if they say, I'm going to do so-and-so at two o'clock and then it's two Oh five and they haven't done it. They, they stop and say, I'm going to do this. 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 Well, da, 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 da. and they talk themselves right into going on and doing it. And, um, Sometimes we have to do that. You know, you have I'm, to hear it I'm out loud. You yeah, do. It, you do. Yeah, it's, it's well, because good. it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't come automatic. You know, I don't think law would probably even say that it didn't happen automatically for her to wake up and be who she is. It's t- it takes practice. It takes dedication. It takes a commitment every day. Getting up and putting yourself to the task and reminding yourself what your goals are. You know, yep. why is it yep. you're doing this thing? That was one of our right. early, early, early episodes. Why? Yeah. Why did Why? we get into yeah. voiceover? Well, Why did we want to build this business? Are we insane? <laughs> right? Yes, a little bit. I know. I, I want to take all of that, all of what we derive from her, all of what we've been talking about lately, and I want to turn it just a little bit into things you shouldn't do. Things you shouldn't do, shouldn't get involved in, shouldn't say, actions you shouldn't take if you want to maintain a voiceover career. Okay. I don't care how new you are. This applies to you. I don't care if you've been in it for a couple of years. This will apply to you. This will not apply to people who are already successful in this in this industry and are doing things the right way. <clears throat> this is really more focused on these are some mistakes that I think you can make that will bury you. And you cannot be disassociated with the people who are your equals in the industry because that can get you blackballed as fast as anything mm-hmm. because you become you become the the backroom talk did you know that guy you know what he did did you see what he posted you know it comes out mm-hmm. so we're just going to kick this around off the cuff and and I'm going to start off with my number one pet peeve are people that love to get involved in an online, for lack of a better term, an online pissing match. Nobody wins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they want to argue That's about right. something they don't really yeah. know a lot about and nobody's going to win that. You're going to look bad. Whoever else is going to look bad. Right. Stay out of those. Don't do that. It's you just, know what? It's honestly, it's almost like to the point where you just like, if you don't have anything nice to say, you shouldn't say it at all. Where have I heard yeah, that? I yeah. Yeah. Really? That? Really? And I mean, it, it, regardless yeah, yeah, of yeah. how you feel, regardless of like whether you disagree, I mean, like kind of like, you know, we had mentioned, you know, some interaction online we uh, on a couple episodes ago, you know, where they were calling out somebody for, you know, touting a class or, you know, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you know, that episode or whatever. And, and like, it's just, and they kept going at it. You know what I mean? Like, they, and I saw, and not just one post, but two different posts talking about this person. And they were just like, I can't believe yeah. the higher up voiceover people would just support this kind of thing. Man, keep that stuff to yourself because the only thing you're doing, whether you're right or wrong, is making yourself look bad. Yeah, shut your like, pile. No one wants to work with somebody. No one wants to, like, associate with somebody. Who's right. going to be all like negative and crap like that? Like, yeah, it's it just old. Like, regardless if you're right. Yeah, yeah it I drives mean, like, people away. It drives. Exactly. Save yeah. that stuff for like your accountability group. And then even then bring it up in a way that you don't sound like you're, you know, I, I almost, <laughs> I don't want to use profanity or whatever, but I mean, you sound like you're just, you know, bitching and moaning. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, just leave it alone. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true. True. And and you also need to be careful well, with personal beliefs. True. In a lot true. of this stuff. It's so, you know, people will quickly figure mm-hmm. out are, are, is he a believer? Is he a non believer? What is he? That's okay. But don't get on there and start talking deep political, deep religion, deep this, deep that. It, it's voiceover yeah. stuff. And if you're always posting stuff voiceover that stuff. is one sided, and, and you're somehow, you know, using that format to talk about your, you know, how you feel about the upcoming election and da, 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 and you're just banging, banging, banging on it. And then <laughs> next thing you know, 
somebody hears you doing an ad for that side, the, the you know, the side you said you didn't believe in. Right. That That's going to make you look like a, a nut job in my opinion. Yeah, so it looks like you have no, no, uh, yeah, no true no morals loyalty, at all. No true yeah. Beliefs. Yeah. And now, you know, you can now, always uh, other turn sides that of down. It have to do. Yeah. And other, on the other side of it, sometimes it's just a matter of style. Like maybe your style of doing business isn't the same as my style of doing business. Jake was echoing what law said. You got to be your true self, be who you are in front of people. Don't mm-hmm. put on a mask. Don't try to cover up who you are. At the same time, don't tell other people that they need to be like you. Right. That's that's not going to get you anywhere. Right. Right. For or sure. that they're doing it wrong or anything, because as we've said time and time again, not one way works for every person. Like it is, it, it is, this is, we all have different paths and different journeys and, and touting yours is the best or thinking so-and-so's is the worst or telling, you know, saying that they're wrong. I mean, that's not your, it's just, it's just not right. You know, it's just yeah, a waste and, of time really. You're going to align yourself with like-minded people in your accountability groups and things like that. That's where you have these discussions quietly mm-hmm. between. And the again, sure. civilly too. Like even yeah, if right. you do bring it up in your accountability groups, bring it up in a way that doesn't make you look like an ass. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. Um, another one that drives me nuts is there are certain people and it comes in trends and they are always in some of these groups, the very first person to reply to anything posted. They are usually fairly new. They are usually just repeating an answer they read in another group. And here's my wonder. (laughs) Is this all you have to do? You can't be busy marketing and building a business if all you're doing is in here answering all this stuff on social media. And people are talking about you if you're doing that amongst themselves uh, off of social media. They're saying, do you ever notice yeah, how yeah. Bill Smith, yeah. he's answering every day, every time somebody posts in that group, he's the first or second person to answer. <laughs> and he thinks he knows everything. Man, I hope and, Bill Smith doesn't listen to this podcast. I know. I know. <laughs> but you know what I'm yeah. saying. I did, <laughs> I did make that one up. I could have helped yeah, it. But that, Bill that Smith tried, is a... That drives me nuts. I'm sorry. It just drives me nuts. <laughs> yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, like, I, 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 go ahead. Alden's no, stuck it's in a, a delay. A phasing problem. Go ahead, Jake. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, it, it yeah, is, it is I'm funny, but I mean, like, later than you guys are. I mean, like, if you're going to be the first person to comment, like he said, like, people are noticing and, and it gets brought up after a while. It's like, okay, did you see this per? Hey, so when Bill Smith strikes again, I mean, like, yeah. Come on. He knows everything. Have yeah, you ever they, seen him post a job he's done? I, let, let's see him post some of that stuff. Come yeah. on. Does he have a he's website? He's answering I mean, every like, question. Yeah. He knows everything about every doll. <laughs> he knows every microphone that works in every room. You know, I, I you know. And, and I think a lot and, of that uh, stems from how people feel about themselves personally. And that's just trying to, that's them trying to validate like, oh, I do yeah, belong. And, and, it's, I, it's and look, you all, insecurity. everyone belongs. But going out of your way to, you know, hey, right. I know everything. I mean, this is definitely the wrong way and no one's going to want to associate with you yeah it's not fun and if you guys think of things that drive you nuts just jump in i am i've got a list here (laughs) and i don't know why i decided to write yeah well i would also say i would also say you know and maybe bill smith is the same guy that does this you know you see somebody who is an experienced voiceover talking about their best practices you know putting a post on there and you'll see somebody arguing with them Oh my like, gosh. Oh, I yes. wouldn't do it this way. I wouldn't do it this way. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah you don't I, have to include that you wouldn't. You can just say, this is how I would approach it without trying to say that so and so, that there's any kind of negative connotation on what so and so, uh, what Bill Smith said, you know? Yeah, I actually had had down. Yeah, well, I would uh, say, Alden, yeah, that's true. Ask, asking for feedback, then pushing back on those who give good feedback. <laughs> that's counterproductive. Yeah, I know. And that. <clears throat> That's not helpful. It, you, and you're not going to move forward as a voiceover talent if you are not open to learning from others. Right. You, know, you may have talent. You may have a good head for business, but you haven't done this and others have. So learn from those who went before you. Learn from yeah. those who are doing yeah. best practices and finding su- success and building their business. Now, th- this is another thing that I think can hurt you. Um. Maybe not on social media, but I think it will hurt you. 
staying in a group after you've outgrown it and not letting go of people who can drag you down that mm-hmm. will really hold you back because they're not progressing mm-hmm. and they're not moving. And now you are, you're progressing and moving, but you're still hanging out in this Facebook group because eh, you, you think maybe I could help out or this or that. But I tell you what, you got to be careful with that because it can become a drag on you. Sometimes you got to move forward, let things go and move on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, y- oh yeah, y- y- you, you get new shoes when you, as you're growing up because your feet get too big for them. Right. I mean, like, you got to move up. You got to move onward and upward. I mean, you want to be comfortable. I get it. Yeah. You have to get new shoes. You have to, you have to yeah. expand like yep. your feet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never right. know. People are going to be All like, right, so, what is Jake talking about? <laughs> no, no, I kind of get it. You know, <laughs> more shoe metaphors. Get out, or, 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 get, get out of that group or your feet yeah. are going to hurt. There's a special <laughs> link where I talk about shoes and how they relate to the voiceover industry. Right. Thank you, Alden. <laughs> yes, Un- yeah. Untie your shoes. Your obsession with feet comes career. out again, Jake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, uh, guys. Another one is in Zen how people will overpost samples, right? Well, just overposting in yeah, general. And we tough. touched on that, that's you know. Tough. Yeah. Uh, but sam- but the if episodes. they keep putting out samples... And, you know, I think it's great to post your wins. Right. Mm-hmm. But but don't overpraise yourself. Give thanks for the job and who produced it and for choosing oh, okay. you. Yeah. But don't give praise for your own performance ever. You know, don't say, listen yeah. to this I great spot I did and else. how good I sound and how this I sound. No, it's like, hey, right. thank you to yeah. so-and-so. Now you're talking about, and you're talking about specifically in the groups, is what you're yes. talking about, right? Yes. And I I agree with that 100%. I thought you were talking about something else that you maybe just, hey, guys, listen to this. What's your, what's your feedback? Over and over again, asking for feedback. That can, that can start to drive people to not want to give yes. feedback because yes. they've got to answer every single one. It feels like you're demanding a little too much of the community when you're posting like that. And there again, that kind of scenario is best for your accountability group because you're and, and you got to even come to an agreement with your accountability yeah. group. Are you yep. guys cool if I post some samples every now and then just to get mm-hmm. some feedback? Yeah, it's all got to be done the right way. But I agree with that entirely, Alden. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Another one is you see where people and I saw this the other day, they were going to send out. They wanted to know about how to reach out to agents and da 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 da. And they've never booked anything or had any training. That was the first first thing they wanted to do was just record some samples yeah. with not, just just dry vocal, and I'm going to send those to an agent. That's probably not a good thing to do. That that could you get you on a blacklist. Yeah, you just can't jump to step five. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but you people want to do you that. Can't skip the, the first chapters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people want to do yeah. that, and and it's and it is frustrating. Well, I think there's this. Can... Oh, go ahead. But I think there's this idea and... that. It is so easy to get into voiceover. You just have talent, you record your talent, and you send it in. And there's not this idea of practicing, getting coaching, building your space so that it sounds pristine. Also, building relationships, reaching out to clients. They want to skip right past all of that and just, how do I get in a commercial on TV? Send it in, done. And Mm -hmm. it does not work like that. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. I mean, like, and, and again, and for those listening, there is where we are having some kind of technical delay. So we're apologizing for uh, these uh, weird pauses every now and then. But yeah, exactly what Alden said was exactly what I was going to touch on. Um, and he's right. I mean, we've talked about this so much over the, the length of this podcast. You can't just jump in head first. You got to, I saw someone post today, like, I want to do voiceover so bad. What do I got to do? And I, I was happy that. to see that a lot of people were like training. And because in their post, they were like, do I get, do I need to get, what equipment do I need to get? What about this? What about that? And everyone was like, before you do anything, training, you know, uh, find some voiceover podcasts. I saw right. people talking about that too. It's like, yes, like, listen, listen to this podcast. Listen to Troy's podcast. There's VO Booth Besties. There was another guy in there that had a podcast yeah. and I can't remember his name at the moment, but you know, he was throwing that out there. I mean, like do your research first because you may not realize what voiceover requires. Yeah, it sounds great. It sounds cool. So many people want to do voiceover. And we all know the kind of questions we get from out people outside of voiceover. Uh, you know, oh, you're in voiceover? What cartoons have you done? Or, you know, they <laughs> immediately go to a, a branch of a one branch of voiceover that 
just i mean not a yeah. lot of people aren't in it i feel like most people aren't in the animation side there's a oh, lot of no, people no, in no. it it's but most of it is this audiobooks yeah, corporate yeah, narration yeah, right. e-learning mm-hmm. commercial i mean like there's you know people don't understand what voiceover is and you don't understand it until you put in the effort to go and learn about voiceover and what it actually requires. I've had people ask me, Hey man, I, how do I get into it? And then I tell them and, and I'll send them a pair paragraphs on paragraphs and then they get done reading it and they go, Oh, okay. And then they, ne- and I never see them try to do anything with yeah. it again. And I think it's cause they yeah. read it and they go, Oh, this is not what I right. thought it was. You know what I mean? Yeah. I made a PowerPoint for that because I kept getting that. And I thought I don't have to answer it in an email every time. Here's a PowerPoint all about how to get into it, how hard it is and all that. Um, let me, let me throw this one out there and this, this will probably garner some discussion. Maybe, um, going to workshops and not really paying attention, um, coming into a workshop and not really following the direction. I've even seen someone argue with the facilitator when they were said, I need you to, to try to do it like this. And they argued with them. Yeah. That, why? Yeah. It's like, okay. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know a, how to begin with that. That's a great way just to end your career. <laughs> yeah. 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 It doesn't make any sense to me that you would argue with somebody, hey, I'm going to take your workshop because I want to learn from you. Okay, let me tell you everything I know and how you're wrong. Why would you do that? <laughs> Which, quite frankly, is why free workshops aren't a good idea. Pay, yeah, make, them, make people pay for it. Even if it's a small fee, just to honor the idea that we have somebody leading and teaching that has experience and we want to learn from them. Right. Know? Right. And not paying attention while other people are reading, I, I think is a, a huge mistake people make. And I bring this up and I even tell people yeah, see it all when the they time. come to the automotive workshop that you, you, it's a requirement that you pay attention to the other people when they read, because you may ask the question when you read that already, ca- already came up and you could have learned from that and applied it to your read and be ahead, you know, instead of having your, you know, and, yeah. and really what kills me, they don't think to turn their camera off. So while somebody else is doing their thing, they're over there looking at their other screen and they're not, and you can tell they're practicing and it's like, don't do that. You know, you're going to yeah. get that opportunity here in a minute, but why would you miss out on an hour of coaching with five other people? You know, and you paid for that. You, you're only paying right. six, yeah. 60, 50, 70 bucks. You know, some workshops are more, but you get five times the return if you're paying attention. And don't think whoever's holding that workshop doesn't pay attention. There's to so that. much and value don't think, in that. Yes. And don't think they're not telling people, you know, they're telling people. Anytime you put yourself out there, you, everybody has access to you. Mm-hmm. So if you're putting yourself out there, mm. you've got eyes on you, whether you believe it or not, whether you whether you think, oh, nobody pays attention to me. Somebody's paying attention to you. Someone's going to remember you, especially if you do these nuances yep. that we're talking about. And there's good things you could be remembered for, too. Man, this guy's always given great advice. This guy's always willing to learn something new, stuff like that. There is good stuff. But people are watching and they will notice and they will talk, especially if you stick out like a sore thumb. You know, right. And, right. And, and just know yeah. that if you're going to post something, make sure you're trying to do it in a polite manner and in a way that doesn't make you look bad. Because a lot of times if you're planning on coming in there being negative, people are going to see that. And yeah. no one wants to work with someone who's negative. So no. if that's you no. and you're listening to this and that's you, yeah. really think about the next time you decide to post something. How's this going to make me look is this going to make me look like someone people want to work with, people want to associate with, or is this going to make me look like, you know, a butthead? <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you do, be open and receptive to the responses. You know, understand who's responding. For one, you know, if they've been in the group for three or four years and you've seen them uh, post some professional demos and professional, you know, jobs, then you know you've got somebody there that's experienced that's giving you positive feedback. Or is this feedback coming from somebody who just joined the group and is learning? So maybe they don't have the answers you're looking for. Right. For right. Learning. Right. Right. And, and in the, um, the bucket of, um, you know, not doing something too quick, 
oh, look, VDC is running a $99 deal. I hadn't had any training or coaching, but it's just $99. I think I'll get on there. Don't do that. Don't do that because you're not prepared to get on there. The competition is deep on yeah, there. Yeah, that $99 we, dollars only last a year. <laughs> yeah, and the three of us will tell it you is. Yep. it is deep. You're not going to jump on there and start booking a lot yep. of stuff oh, if yeah. you're not trained, if you're not <laughs> ready. Right. And uh, so I don't know. I don't understand. But anyway, um, that's just a thing you shouldn't do. You know, don't do any of this stuff if you're not ready. Sending out bad samples, bad demos, uh, you know, that you, you're you getting feedback from people that, oh, the music's too loud or this doesn't yeah. sound good or those don't sound like real samples. Don't send that out to other people if you're getting that feedback. Um because you're just you're just digging a hole, yeah. and this is yeah. hard enough as it is. Vo is probably the hardest thing I have ever attempted. Um, I I was in um, I was a songwriter in Nashville for a while. I never had anything what you call cut or, or making an album. I took a one year publishing contract. That was hard. That was, you know, it was hard to break into or try to get going, and and I didn't get anything out of it. You know, it was a year of rejection. Um, but this is harder to me because it's 90% rejection yeah. every day. Um, but you know, like any <laughs> yes. business, if it, you're successful, <laughs> yeah, if you're successful, it is, but like any business, you're going to build this roster of clients and they'll come and go. And your job is to not make people mad, not to be a dick. Mm-hmm. Your As job, Henry would say, <laughs> it, it, she says all the time, your job <laughs> is to be, a people person, a problem solver. You need to be easy to get along with. You need to yes. take direction well. You need to execute what's asked of you. You need to learn to associate with peers mm-hmm. in a positive level way to where, you know, whether they're ahead of you or behind you, you don't want to paint yourself as an expert while you're learning. There's no sense in that. You'll one day be that expert. You don't no. have to be the freaking shell answer guy for every group. You know, like I said, know your role, shut your hole right, is, is right. my thing. Let the page admins <laughs> answer. There's admins over all these groups. Let them answer a yes, lot of those questions. Right. It's their group. That's yep. what it's there for. And, and it's easy to get drawn in. And it's easy to quickly become an experienced knowledge person because there's so many brand new people who are asking what Jake just said. I don't even know where to start. It's been my dream forever. And that's great. We all had that same day, but it's taken us three, four years yeah. to get where we are now. And we still don't know that much. Oh, my right. gosh. Yeah. Like, Can you imagine? Long way to go. You got a, and, I, you know, we've and, all got a long way to go. Yeah. And, and when you're making steady money. And you've got steady clients and you're, you know, booking weekly, daily. But if you're booking one job or two jobs a month, you're not qualified to do all that stuff yet. I don't think, you know, I think you need to lay back and keep learning and waiting. And, you know, this is the instant society that we live in. Uh, I like to call it the drive through society. We want to pull up to the speaker and this is what we want. And we get to the next, we drive to the window and they hand it to us and we got what we wanted. And here we go. You know, that's what everybody expects these days that bang, bang, bang. I want it right now. But um, don't don't feel like you got to do that in VO. It's not going to happen. It's not going to be bang, bang, bang right now. Yeah. And sometimes sometimes in our larger groups, I think we can see that there's an attraction to people who want to know about the business, who want to know about voiceover, think they're going to start their voiceover career. They get a lot of answers. They start to answer, but they've never done it. You know, so yep. it becomes more of an academic conversation because they haven't put in the, themselves into the pl- position of getting experience and actually yeah, doing this true. stuff. They might have the right answers, but they haven't gone out there and done the work. Exactly. And that's what I see with people that are answering. And the reason is, and I, uh, there are some who just, there may be, maybe they're unemployed. I don't know. Maybe they work at home and they have a lot of spare time, but they're in that group all the time. Anytime I go in and check stuff, they've answered a bunch of stuff, you know, certain people have, or, and if I look at another group, I'll see, well, I know who's, who's going to be answering all these questions. And sure enough, there they are. And, uh, you know, the thing is, how do you have time to do that unless you're just lonely sitting at home, got nothing else to do. And it's, you can, you can have retention of all this stuff. Like you said, you can read it and read it and re- and have retention of, I can tell somebody how to set up a booth. I can tell them what works, yeah. what won't work. But do you, like you said, do you, do you have the experience 
in that? Have you gone through turning in 218 auditions and, and, you know, getting no feedback and getting one thing back? And how many Uh, things have you booked this week? It kind of throws me back to when I was attacked by Sabrina Farrow's. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it really reminds me of that because <laughs> that was what I was catching was, you know, she was telling me, she, he, whoever it was, was saying, you have not booked this stuff. You say you're doing this and you say you're doing that, but you're not doing it. But no, I, I was transparent. If I booked something, I booked it. I wasn't just putting stuff online just to put it online. Um, and, and you know, I was trying to encourage people that, you know, look, it, it's, it's kind of working. If you get in there and really work hard and do this. You can do do the bookings. You can do this if you get the coaching and you you apply yourself. You know, uh, like kind of like Law said, where you, you become a workaholic. You know, and and VO becomes your life, and it's not just the hours you're in the chair. It's twenty four seven that you are wondering or looking right. or on your yeah. phone. You know, and and my wife says that she says even if you're not working, you're looking on your phone. You know, and she wasn't well, being me mean too. about it, but she's right. You know, <laughs> I'm waiting for emails to come in, waiting to, you know, maybe double check my one, two, three or VDC profiles from Chrome on my phone. I mean, the same thing. I mean, like yeah. always on my phone, just like, yeah. Maybe check in. And for those who are Being listening, anybody and commented are, on the sample you dropped in the Facebook group? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another like. Um, Bill. People love me. <laughs> yeah. I am Bill Smith, everybody. If no, I I'm get not. an email from Bill Smith over the next week, I... <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, why are you calling me out, Troy? Yeah. FYI, we do not know who Bill Smith invented a name is. that was true. Yeah. 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 We're not calling up. you out, whoever you are. Um, real quick, for those of you who are, have not either listened to pr- previous episodes or maybe just missed it, Sabrina Farrow's is not a real person or that's not her, their real name. We don't know who they are. And this person has mm, attacked. Correct people in the voiceover industry from your higher up people, more well-known people uh, like Troy. And uh, I mean, like even like I think JMC and other those people, I mean, like Man, don't they, put me in that class. I don't know, Troy, you sitting there booking the things you're there. booking lately. For those no. of you who, uh, who uh, what, it, what was that narration? You got your thing attention you somehow. Booked? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how all that happened. That's, that's just, you know, a lot of social media stuff, I think. And and really, I give a lot of credit to the VO Life group because there's so many people drifted over to it. And, and then there was an interest of, well, why are so many going in there? And then here come other people. And then the other night, I decided I'm going to mass invite VO people who aren't in there. And I yeah. went through my regular uh-huh. friends friends yeah. list on Facebook. And <clears throat> I think we had like 36 or 40 people move over. So it was fun. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so someone out there is being a negative Nancy. Her name her, she goes by the name Sabrina Pharaohs, whether it's female, male, whoever they are. Uh, they're, they're a negative person who just the voiceover community doesn't need. But like yep. like with anything, they're out there. And again, yep. don't be yep. those people. Yeah. Yep. Hey, let's share some exciting news. we got some good things coming up on this podcast. Uh, I know we've been talking a lot of yeah, negative stuff today, but let's talk about good news. Um, I do know that we're going to be recording with um, uh, Mary Lynn Wisner here in, I don't know, was a couple of weeks, I guess. Yeah, it's I think it's October 24th yeah, or something up. like that. Yeah, so um, I, I'm excited for that one. Um, we are likely... Uh, for November, we're going to do something more towards the marketing and business side. We'll try to have somebody on for that. Um, and that will probably do us for the year because with December and the holidays, I don't know the last week of December is when we would probably put something out. But if we can get it pre-recorded, I mean, we can upload it and have it ready. It just depends on yeah. people's schedules because I'm hearing a, a lot break. of yeah. people. Yeah. A lot of people are saying that October, November, December, they plan on being swamped and da, 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 da. And then and I of course, hope we're swamped. <laughs> I, I do too. And, you know, Paul Smith had something come out today where he was talking about why it was slow yeah. and it's been a slower year and all that. And I'm like, I kind of felt bad because it's yeah, been I a saw that. better year. But, you know, we're new and we're marketing harder and we're trying to build where these guys are doing it as well. I'm not saying they're they're being lazy and they're not going after new clients. That's not right. what I'm saying. But it probably has a different effect on them because they've been around a little longer. So, you know, for us, we're still digging and clawing and, and any increment up is good for <clears> us. <throat> so we get excited. But a lot of good stuff coming up on yeah, this podcast. It feels like and, uh, 25% growth is more like 50% growth this year. I, I know. I know you're right. Um, but I think we'll have a lot of good things coming up, up on the podcast for the end of the year and going into next year. And um, we're we kind of I was playing with it today, trying to get a uh, 
get our thumbnail down into a logo and i think we got it pretty close so we're going to try to get uh, links up and i'll try to put one in the podcast notes where if you'd like to have a t-shirt that's got uh of course i'm wearing the vo life yeah. i just realized that um if right. you want, uh, want a t-shirt that <laughs> has uh, another vo <laughs> podcast on it or a coffee mug we're going to have those through a site and that'd be uh, awesome uh, and and you can just order it whenever you want it and they'll ship it um and they are going to be reasonably priced because they want to they want to give you a profit so what i did is went in there and knocked the profit way down to just like two dollars i'm like i don't want to make anything i just want right, people yeah. to have the logo if they want the yeah logo. represent yeah, that's not the yeah point. that's it so those will yeah. be available and we'll have that yep. in the show notes but a lot of good Spread stuff the coming. word yeah a lot of good stuff coming up yeah. and i hope we didn't come off today as being jerks or negative we're not oh, we yeah. just want to help you we just want to help. well you. we might have but <laughs> <laughs> it's our yeah. nature it's a tough if it's a tough topic but <laughs> no, no, not so much. It, yeah, it we, don't topic, be a jerk. And I feel We're like jerks, but don't, for don't those, be a jerk. <laughs> for those who are wanting to navigate those uh, rough waters in the Facebook groups, because those should be a place where you can learn. But sometimes you've got to overcome those hurdles of not yeah. not not knowing who to listen to or getting wrong advice. You got to be careful. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, that's the great thing about having your account accountability group, having uh, mentors and people you can trust and listen to them, you know, follow them, listen to them. Uh, when you outgrow a group, get out. It, uh, there are groups that are great for startup. There are groups that are, you know, I feel like VO life is kind of a mixture. There's a little of everything in there, uh, but but nobody's in there really selling stuff. It's not, you know, we don't do that to promote, I don't coach, so I'm not selling you coaching programs or come to my academy or come to this or that or join this and pay extra for that. There's nothing in there to buy unless you want to buy a t-shirt or something, you know, and, and you don't have to buy one of those. I don't yeah. care. That's fine. But um, on the other hand, if you have to evolve and get away from that stuff and then get into things that fit where you are in your climb. And if that group mm -hmm. becomes too silly for you, then, you know, jump out. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you drop out because I want you to be yeah. where you can grow sure. and learn. And that's the trick and invest your time and money in the right places. Be very careful. This is a very hard, difficult business period. Hey, real quick, guys, I want to, yeah. and I know we've, we've talked about this off the podcast. I want to give a shout out real quick to Carrie Ann Christensen. Now, I don't know if she was influenced by our podcast or not, um, but the other day she posted in the VO Life group saying, hey, I'm looking to start an accountability group. Um, and she put herself out there. And mm -hmm. uh, you, you guys, if you've been with us since the beginning, we have literally talked about that since like one of the first few episodes. Get an accountability right. group. And if you don't know how yep, to do that, yep. put yourself out there. And she did exactly that. Now, again, I don't want to take credit. Uh, she may have, she may not even listen to this podcast, um, but she did something that we have all talked about doing and what you should do out there. Mm -hmm. And if I read the yeah. comments correctly, you know, she wanted, you know, a small group, maybe three to four people. She got that, but there was definitely more than that in the responses. And it looked like maybe another one might've even formed off of that, yeah. which yeah. guys, yeah. I mean, yeah. that That's there in, there it lies, man. That's the domino and effect. Like just, it starts with just putting yourself out there. That's going to boost question. what you're trying to do. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So and, just and like adding to that, shout out to her. And Adding to that, the ladies were very responsive, but yeah. we had a guy post looking to get uh, a group going and hardly anyone, if anyone had acknowledged it. Come on, guys, don't, you know, don't be over manly and say, I don't want to be a part of a group. I don't like to share. I will not share. <laughs> yes, you better do that. You need to get in these groups and share because this is, <laughs> you know, it's huge uh, yep. to have people to bounce things off all of the time. And, you know, whether you do it through Facebook chat or you, you know, you say we're going to meet once a day or we're going to meet once a week or whatever, but be sure, you know, even if you have a text group or however you do it, yeah. you've got that outlet when you need it. That way you're not on Facebook venting and complaining or whatever you get with those accountability partners and you guys work it out and, you know, figure out what's yeah. wrong, what's bad, what am I doing, you know, and pump each other oh, yeah. up. Hey, come on, man, don't worry about it. Get up. You know, it's going to be a better week this week. It takes that. I mean, if Jake was not the awesome cheerleader, uh, I, I know I'm not sometimes, uh, I'm more the factual database old fart, but you know, and, and Alden's always pretty happy-go-lucky. 
You know, he's he's pretty even keeled. So we've got that good mix to where we've got three different personalities, three different approaches to a lot of things. And there's times I have to sit back and go, you know what? I'm not really sure what. And then, no, he's right. I got to do that. He's right. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the way it should be. Well, it I needs really to need the cheerleading this week, too. Yeah. I'll I go get the you. pom-poms. <laughs> There you go. Well, Next you've already episode, encouraged Jake me will on the live cheer. message. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. guys, well, let's we wrap it up. Weeks ago, about you know, you get addicted to those highs and and uh, oh, having yeah. great yeah. weeks, and then you get a bad one, and you're like, man, what did I do? What's wrong with me? It's I assure job. you, it's Just not you, my going. friend. Just I, assure I panicked. You, uh, you. I panicked yesterday because I did a yeah. video game. A couple nights ago, it was a late night, well, late, not late, eight o'clock. And they did the hour and I did three different characters and they were they were actually timing it up as we went and they were all happy with it. So then yesterday they said, hey, we want to book another hour. Can you do it Saturday morning? I'm like, oh, God, what did I do wrong? It wasn't that I did anything wrong. It's that the Chinese game developer was not on the Zoom call and he just wanted to to get back in there and maybe make a couple of word changes because the Chinese to English oh. didn't turn out exactly right. They put a wrong word in there. And it could, <laughs> it, I think what it, one of them was, it was a reference to you are not ready for so-and-so. And really they, there wasn't, it wasn't in the first person. It was in the thing of the guy was thinking in his head and he was supposed to have been saying they were not ready instead of you or something. It's little things. But the thing mm-hmm. I hate is it's, Eight o'clock Saturday morning, I did the first voices at eight o'clock at night. <laughs> voice match. That'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Your voice won't quite be the same. Yeah. Yeah. But but because I'm new still, even in year three or four or whatever year I'm in, seeing that email that said they want to schedule another hour, my heart sank because I thought I had screwed up, you know, and that's that's just this industry. Sure. As you're yeah. new, you think <laughs> it's sometimes hard to see the positives. But man, I'm thankful it's been a it's been a pretty decent yeah. comeback this last week of the month. Jake predicted it Monday, you know, so I appreciate that. Appreciate the positivity that you guys bring. I hope we are sharing that with everybody else. Anything else to talk about before we go, guys? Yep. I see head shaking. Okay, okay, right. you said so yep. Good. So I just want to make sure. Um, I just wanted to say, guys, uh, just. Tell yourself every day is going to be a good day. And I don't mean like right now say, okay, every day is going to be a good day. I mean, when you wake up in the morning, tell yourself three times, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. It may not, it may not, that doesn't mean you're going to have, you know, book something, but that may, but that just might put something in your brain and put something out in the universe that today's going to be a good day. If you can keep telling yourself that, then I promise you those good days are on their way. I did not mean to rhyme. I don't even know if that actually works or plays, but we'll see. Oh, I just wanted to <laughs> okay. test it. Uh, something came through my headphones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it came yeah, through it did over mine here too. Totally <laughs> put yourself to the put put yeah, it put yourself to the to the work. You know, cool, right? Talking exactly. to yourself that way, the good self talk. You put your you put yourself to the work. Yeah, right. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Well, hey, for all of us, to all of you, uh, and and again, I hate to keep apologizing. It's been that kind of week, I guess. I think the podcast I put out this <laughs> the past few days was the same way. I just felt like I was going off to negative Nancy land, and and we're not really. We're just trying to be encouraging so you don't make the mistakes that maybe somebody's making that other people are talking about, and that's kind of the way it goes. Well, guys, thanks for joining me again. This was kind of last minute, but we wanted to get this one in the box, and I appreciate that. And um, oh, yeah. let's all have a uh, a wonderful a wonderful weekend. And and uh, you know, I don't know, my remodeling guy's coming, and I'm probably going to be crying tears tonight, but that's okay. <laughs> Alden, Jake, thanks, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode of It's Another Vo Podcast. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. You can also email us your questions to anothervopodcast at gmail.com or follow us on Instagram at anothervopodcast. See you next time.